हरे कृष्णा सरेंडर इज नॉट जस्ट अबाउट हेल्पलेसनेस बट ऑल्सो अबाउट रेडीनेस ऑफन द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द्रौपदी विथ बोथ हर हैंड्स अपरेस्ड शी इज कंसिडर टू बी द एम्बलम ऑफ सरेंडर एंड येस दैट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एम्बलम ऑफ सरेंडर बट एट द सेम टाइम वी शूड थिंक दैट सरेंडर इज ओनली अबाउट हेल्पलेसनेस हेल्पलेस डेफरेंस टू द विल ऑफ द लॉर्ड दैट इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ सरेंडर बट दैट इज नॉट द ओनली कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ सरेंडर इन द भगवद गीता कृष्णा अर्जिज अर्जुना टू सरेंडर इन एटीन पॉइंट सिक्सटी सिक्स सर्वधर्मान परित्यज्य मे कम शरण व्रज अहम तवाम सर्व पापेभ्यो मोक्षा मा शुच कृष्णा टेल्स अर्जुना गिव अप ऑल वेराइटीज ऑफ रिलीजन एंड सरेंडर टू मी एंड अर्जुना टेल्स कृष्णा दैट करिष्ये वचनम तव इन एटीन आई विल डू योर विल एंड द भगवीता कंक्लूड एटीन पॉइंट सेवेंटी विथ यत्र योगेश्वर कृष्ण यत्र पार्थो धनुर्धर तत्र श्री विजयो भूतिर्ध्रुवाणी तीर्म तीर्म यत्र पार्थो धनुर्धर वेर दर इज पार्थ वेर दर इज अर्जुन धनुर्धर हु इज रेस्ड इज बो सो द भगवदगीता कंक्लूड विथ अर्जुन सेइंग दैट आई सरेंडर बट आफ्टर सरेंडरिंग व्हाट इज अर्जुन डूइंग अर्जुन इज नॉट रेजिंग हिज हैंड्स इन हेल्पलेसनेस बट रादर हीज रेजिंग हिज बो इन रेडीनेस सो in different situations surrender can be expressed and needs to be expressed in different ways so for draupadi who tried her who was in a situation where she was rendered powerless in front of uh, the atrocities being imposed by depraved men she expressed her surrender by raising her hands in helplessness arjuna was a warrior and in fact uh, if you see he was reduced to helplessness at the start of the bhagavad gita when he just put aside his bow in dejection and sat down on the chariot with sri jasasharam chapam shoka sambhigna manasa he says in 1.46 and yet in 18.78 he is yatra partho dhanurdhara he has picked up his bow and he is ready to fight that means that surrender essentially means uh, submitting to the will of the lord but submitting to the will of the lord can have two aspects that whatever the lord wants we accept but it can also mean whatever the lord wants we do that so surrender is also not just uh, uh, helplessness in terms of not being able to change situation and therefore accepting the inevitable but also is readiness to do our part in executing the lord's will so uh, one mode is what is happening i accept but what the lord wants to happen i take up the responsibility for that and that is also surrender so in this way by recognizing the different modalities of surrender we can move onwards towards krishna and we can eventually attain krishna so for most of us sometimes we may be put in life in situations where we become utterly helpless and we have to totally dependent of the lord but in you most of the other times in our lives we will be our we express our surrender by committed action by being ready to do the activities of devotional service and by being ready to redefine our whole life as an act of service to krishna and in that way we can move steadily onwards towards krishna thank you hare krishna